Hello, my beautiful darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Um, cross watchers are welcome. If oh, if you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Leo only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. All those links are below. Um, readings can be vice versa, flip it, twist it, reverse it. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway. I give away free readings. So just post a positive affirmation or something that you are grateful for in the comment section below with a green heart, okay? Um, if you're looking to book a reading, if you're looking to check out my tarot and oracle decks, um, or my tarot tutorial, all that info is below, okay? What else do I want to tell you? Oh, what am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, all your love, support, positive comments. Thank you to anyone that sends in a super chat or anyone that has signed up for the membership. Um... I'm grateful for my puppies, my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, my loves, we're going to start the reading with a butterfly blessing oracle. Oh, gosh, which is one of my decks. Okay, let's see what blessing is coming towards cancer. So it says here, a loved one has toxic addictions and the blessing lies in not destroying yourself to save them, enabling and being used. Loneliness consumes you and the blessing lies in asking why you need this time alone. Lessons and healing. So Cancer, there's obviously someone here in your life that perhaps you were holding on to, um, a, because you love this person and they had maybe, I don't know, drug addictions, toxic addictions, bad behavior patterns. You know, maybe you can sense that this person had some unhealed trauma and, you know, you wanted to fix it or you wanted to love the addiction away or whatever the case may be. But ultimately, I think that the, the real foundation of why you stuck around with this person for as long as you did is because you didn't want to be alone. You know, you, or maybe you didn't want to go through that phase of having to be single and starting all over again. But I think you made that conscience choice of realizing that you're just being used and you're enabling negative behavior and it's time for you to let this go. And now you're sitting in this energy where you're alone and maybe you're looking at all the time you've wasted, the money you've invested in this toxicity, um... But Spirit is saying you need this time alone to look at those mistakes so that you can heal and learn lessons from that. A blessing will come in June. We've got you will soon be blessed with unexpected money, inheritance, winning, windfall, and lucky. So Cancer, by June, you may have... Um, I don't know why I'm hearing a gem. There could be a Gemini that's passing away or a Gemini giving you some type of money or this could be happening in June where you win money, an inheritance, a windfall, lucky. It says here, joy arrives and your blessings both thrive and multiply. Good news, good luck, blocks removed and peace. A blessing will come in January. And then it says a blessing will come if you forgive what they done. Cancer, I think that between December and January, you guys are going to be doing a very serious either an actual ritual or a mental visual manifestation of closing out. It's like many of you are not wanting to bring all of this fuckery into the new year. So what this is making me feel is that December, you're focusing on forgiving what was done, releasing what needs to go, spending some time, the end of this year for you guys may be spent in loneliness because you guys are in the process of releasing, you're in the process of forgiving, and you're in the process of mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally preparing yourself for the new year. For you, the new year that is coming up, Cancer, when it hits midnight on December 31st, for you, it's like you you are visualizing this, you know, that, that click in your mind of this is it. This year is going to be big for me. This year I'm going to make money. You know, maybe in June you're starting a business. Maybe the beginning of 2025 you're getting all your shit together to open up a business, okay? Or something, or maybe you go through a training course or you decide that, you know, it's time for you to 
change career or open a new job or get a business loan or something or buy a house or something like that right you know for you for many of you cancer you're coming into an energy i am tired of suffering and when that clock clicks you know the the first second of 2025 my blessings are going to come rolling in. I am not bringing this shit with me into the new year. It And that is ultimately, Cancer, what magic and manifestation is. Envisioning it, knowing it's going to happen, placing all your energy into that one thought. And that's all you're visualizing. That literally... Do you, do you know what just popped into my mind? Do you guys remember, what was it, like 1999 or some shit like that when we all thought, like when it hit year 2000 that all the computers were going to shut off what was it y2k or some shit like that do you guys remember what i'm talking about and we were all like staring at the we were all staring at the clock waiting for like the first second after midnight to see what was going to happen that's going to be you cancer like literally not the first minute into 2025 as soon as that first second clicks off it, you know you're envision you're visualizing it in your mind's eye i am not bringing any of this with me into the new year new, the next year either i'm going to have money i'm going to have love I'm going to have peace. Something is popping off, but whatever does pop off, it's going to be fucking positive. Okay. That's, that's where you're at at this point. So I think that many of you are actually, you know, physically, emotionally, and mentally preparing yourselves, uh, for your manifestations and prayers or your rituals for the new year. Okay. All right. So let's see what we have here. Tell me about my cancer babies. Spirit's calling me to this. I have an itch. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. What What's the energy around cancer right now, please? Why do I have the hiccups? Oh, we got addiction again. Ooh. Ooh. Cancer, there is someone here with some either a serious drug habit, negative addictions. I mean, this is not good. Alcohol addictions or something along those lines. And then we've got secret crush. So Cancer, there's two energies here for you. You've got one energy that is, they have some type of negative addiction. Whether it's, you know, they're addicted to sex, drugs, drinking, gambling, a fast lifestyle, toxic behavior, whatever the frick the case is it's negative okay now on this card it also says obsession which i don't know let's see what happens with that because you do have a secret crush, crush here that you were fated to meet cancer there is you're giving someone butterflies this is someone that is believing that you it was destined for you guys to meet you're giving someone here butterflies We've got reconciliation and finance. So Cancer, let me tell you something. This person that has this negative addiction, they will be coming back around, okay? And I think that they're going to come back around with this obsessive energy to them that they absolutely have to get you back. Now, I just want to make it clear, and I feel like it's very important for me to say this to you. It's going to feel like love, it's going to feel like this person has realized your worth or it's going to feel like this person may like go crazy if they actually lose you, but it's money. Finances here. This is someone that is reconciling cancer because they're having some type of financial issue, money problems, you know, material things. Maybe they need a place to live. Maybe they need a car to drive. Maybe I don't know what the hell this person has going on, but it is it is it is for a reason. They need a favor from you. They need something from you. So they they're the way they come in with this obsession the obsession stems because they need you not because and and not like i need you in a romantic way or i need you in my no it's like you know they need a favor from you like all like this is something really big is riding on getting you back into their life does that make sense you know so so that is what's fueling this obsession and it may confuse some of you because it may make you feel like oh wow like this person is you know maybe they're really realizing my worth or something along those lines but that's not the case yeah see despair and great fortune in the reversed so cancer something is happening in this a person with the addiction something is happening in their life okay 
and they're realizing that whatever they have going on, they don't have what it takes to face it alone. And they know that you would have helped them through this, okay? You would have helped them through this. Like, I don't, okay, courthouse. So I was just going to say, like, let's just say they lost their license or something like that, right? You would have helped this person, you know, get it back or whatever the case may be. This is someone that is facing maybe some type of court issue, okay? Um, maybe it's through the DMV or maybe they caught a charge or, uh, you know, I don't know, something along those lines. You know, this is somebody that is realizing that they maybe also made uh, a bad decision here because with great fortune in the reverse, this is someone that's taking a loss, a massive loss, bad health expectation and lovers. So cancer, what this person is doing now is they're circling back and they're coming back with this expectation of marriage. So I don't know what's happening here. Now it could be let me tell you something else. It could be that this person's addiction um, is get it got them sick. Like maybe they have kidney failure or something. You know, they 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 caught some type of health issue due to their addiction, and they're gonna need someone to take care of them right? And they may feel like you know, cancer is like the the nurse right of the zodiac. The 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 little nurse that goes around healing everybody. It's like something happened in this person's life and they're circling back around expecting to tie you down. So let me just say this one thing. This person is planning on coming back for high levels of commitment, but for all the wrong fucking reasons, okay? All the wrong reasons. Now, what they're not expecting what they're not expecting with the lover's card in the reverse is for you to perhaps have, have someone else that you have your eye on. Okay, March 15th could be significant here. Hold on one sec, guys. Okay, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about cancer. Spirit, tell me about cancer. And we've got forgiveness here. We've got resentful. We've got divine feminine. We've got compromise and seducer, unavailable humor and gold digger. Okay. So cancer here, here's what's happening. Okay. I think that you're taking a minute and you're looking back at all the time and energy and money and, and love and all that other shit that you have wasted on somebody that is, you know, maybe an addict or just has negative addiction. You, you wasted, you, you feel like you wasted your time on something. The first thing I want to say to that is cancer nothing is a waste. Money that you have spent, time, love, energy, nothing is a waste. At some point in your life, that will come back to you. It's never a waste, okay? But I feel like you're just kind of realizing, man, I wasted my time, but you know what? I forgive them. I forgive myself for being stupid. It's time to move on. And I think the fact that it's the end of the year really helps you with like, see in your mind's eye that I don't want to bring this into the new year. So the fact that it's the end of the year really kind of helps you come into this energy of wanting to forgive, forget, release, and move on with your life. Okay. Now what's happening is, is this person is coming back around and I have to be honest with you, cancer, you have with messages near future and desire, you have someone expressing, uh, this person is highly sexually attracted to you. Okay. Okay. Lust, yearning, craving. I cannot get enough of you. I always want more. I can't keep my mind or hands away. Cancer, there is someone here that is about to be texting you or calling you nonstop. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. This person may be very handsy. You have someone here that just, they crave your attention. They crave your energy. So when this past individual comes back, they're going to be very resentful, okay, that you're sitting in divine feminine energy, this is empress energy, and that you could be, you know, you're in, you might be in a relationship or interested in somebody else, or you've just taken your power back, Cancer, okay? And not to mention, you're unbothered. You're showing love, compassion, grace, you know, so even when this person comes back, it's like they can't gaslight you, they can't, oh, oh, you're seeing other people now but but yeah I am so what you know so what okay you've been cheating on me for god knows how long you know I feel like with compromise and seducer this is someone that 
is they understand at this point that they have to make an attempt to tempt you away. This is someone that's now stepping into homewrecker energy. Even if you're not in a full blown relationship just yet, this person, the, the way they're looking at it is, man, I have to go get cancer away from whoever the fuck they're dealing with, whoever they're talking to. I have to get cancer away. The problem is, is I feel like this new person coming into your life, Cancer, the attention that you're getting, it's like soothing and healing to your soul. Now, another thing I'm getting here, Cancer, is that with humor, gold digger, and unavailable, you know that this person needs money. You know that this person has something going. You just know it. Either you feel it in your left titty or you heard rumors or maybe they even told you. I think you're going to laugh. Fuck no, that's what I'm getting here. No, 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 I'm not giving you no money. No, you can't stay with me. No, you can't borrow your car, my car. No, I'm not gonna put you on my insurance policy, my car insurance policy. No, 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 no. I think that this person may ask you even though they can't get you back just out of sheer you know, desperation. Okay, fine, if you don't wanna take me back, that's fine, but can you help me with $5,000? Fuck no. <laughs> it's, it's like what I'm hearing. I don't know why you're saying it that way. But you know, like, or, or can I come stay with you for a few days or this, that, you know. No. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely not. No. You know. So they may have a, a screw it moment and just ask you anyway. And I think you're going to be like, what? I, I think you're just going to laugh, Cancer. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What else do we have here for Cancer? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. First of all, you're not looking back. There's no nostalgia here. You know how sometimes you break up with someone and you miss them. You think about the beginning. They're on your mind. None of that shit is happening at this point in time. With the Ace of Swords, this is a clear cut clear cut nine of pentacles cancer this is you sitting in pre-empress energy this is you cutting all ties to the past completely disconnected from this individual could be a virgo but you're gonna go quickly from pre-empress energy which is a single empress to empress energy so it's like you think that maybe you have this long period of solitude this long period of time that you have to be alone i feel like there's just going to be a short period of time here. Okay. Where, and I'm talking like maybe like nine days or maybe even nine weeks, you know, where you have a short period of, of reprieve here where spirit is like, okay, just look at what you did, learn the lesson. And with the queen of cups here and the emperor and the ace of pentacles cancer, I mean, I, I feel like you you have a divine counterpart coming in and with the ace of pentacles this is someone that is not playing any games okay they're not playing any games this is someone that's out to offer you something big this is someone that may want to get married fast they want may want to move in fast uh, this is someone where you may end up getting pregnant with this person quickly for some of you, this may resonate with one person. For some of you, you may have tried to have a child with this addict person for like years. And then you meet this new person and you guys have sex one time and you get pregnant right away. How funny is that? Like, you know, you tried for years with the addict, the, the ex, the addict ex or whatever, and then you sleep with the new person for the very first time and you get pregnant. With the nine of swords and the 10 of swords, this person, your, your ex is just losing it. They're really scared that this is over, that they've lost you. Be and not because you, I mean, I hate to say this in an ugly way. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, Cancer, but you know me, I, I see, I read what I see, okay? They're not, they're not scared that they've lost you because you matter. It's just like maybe you were a convenient ATM or their personal assistant. Well, you know, can you call and make this doctor's appointment? Can you do this? Can I stay with you tonight? Can, it, it was like, you, you were like, you know how like, um, yeah, I mean, I never had this because I don't have parents, but it, it would look something like a teenager. Want, you know how like a teenager wants to go off and be independent and be on their own? Not a teenager, like a like a like like someone, yeah, like a 19 year old, let's say. They leave the house, they want to go be on their own, but then like they, they don't have money for groceries that week, right? And then you run home to mom and dad and you're like, hey, can I get $100 for groceries? You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's how this person sees you. Like they want to go off, they want to do their own thing. They don't want to 
really give you anything that you need. But if something happens and, and this person needs something, they want to come knocking on your door like you gave birth to them. Like, bitch, I'm not your mom and I'm not your dad. I don't know why you're at my door. Like, that's how they see you, though. You know, they see you as like, I don't know, their aunt, their uncle, their their mom, their dad. Like, you're just like, I don't listen We're I'm not I didn't sign up to parent you I have not I didn't adopt you so I don't know why you come to me with all your freaking problems you know so cancer yeah I I do think that you've got something really really big coming in in the love department you've got someone coming in that absolutely does not want to be away from you for a freaking second okay hang on one second guys okay my loves so let's go ahead and do cancer and all 12 signs. Um, I'm trying to see what deck I want to use. No, that doesn't feel... Okay, hold on. Let me use this one. All right, Spirit, tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces, please. Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces, please, Spirit. Cancer and all 12 signs, Aries to Pisces. All right. If we're dealing with an Aries, the Five of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Queen of Cups, oh gosh, all swords, Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Cancer, I think you told this Aries to F all the way off. I think you are done with the fuckery here. You're done with the mind games. You're done with the manipulation. You're, you're just so done with this individual. I feel like you have truly released. I think that you're in peace. And um, I think that now the tables have turned with this Wheel of Fortune. And this person is now stuck on you. You've taken your power back here and released. And I think that now the Aries is sitting in Eight of Swords energy over you. Why do I feel like I've got a piece of hair? Yeah, I feel like the tables are turning here. The, the runner is turning into the chaser on an energetic level. Okay, if we're dealing with a Taurus, the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Wands... The Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. All right, so let's see here. Cancer, if we're dealing with a Taurus. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Taurus, I think that there's a Taurus here that is uh, shopping for something for you. Maybe it's a Christmas present or an engagement ring or something. But what I'm seeing here is two people. Hold on one second, guys. Guys, I'm sorry about that. My The phone call got disconnected, so if they call back, I might have to switch off again. I'm sorry. But anyway, so if we're dealing with a Taurus, I see two people talking here and communicating about a gift that they're going to buy you, okay? So so there's a Taurus here that could be talking to a sibling or a friend, like, hey, do you want to go shopping with me? You know, can't, oh, there it is. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, guys, let's try this again. I keep losing the phone call. I, I don't know why. Okay, but anyway, so Cancer, if you're dealing with a Taurus, yes, yeah, someone's planning a big gift for you, okay? If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Empress, we've got the Sun card, we've got the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Cancer, if you are dealing with a Gemini, I feel like Spirit is advising you to walk away from this individual to show them that you mean business. Like you're going to have to stand your ground here. You're going to have to walk away. You're going to have to be happy and you're going to have to show this person that you don't need them for anything. That will put this person in an energy of wondering if they should work things out with you. Okay. The Gemini will start to come into an energy of maybe I should commit, maybe, you know, removing your from the Gemini's presence completely is going to get them to wonder if they're making a mistake. Okay. If we're dealing with a cancer, we've got the king of cups. We've got the five of cups. We have the nine of swords. We've got the four of cups. We've got the hermit and we have the ace of swords cancer. There is another cancer here that's realizing they were wrong. It's almost like now that they have control of their emotions. Now that tempers have died down. Now they're having regret over what they did. Regret over what they said. I shouldn't have done that. There's no way cancer is going to forgive me now. I feel like this is a cancer that maybe got in their 
feelings and did or said shit that they should not have done. And now that like they're in control of their emotions again, they're regretting everything and they're thinking that you're not going to forgive them. If we're dealing with a Leo, the Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Queen of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Cancer, there is a Leo here that is realizing they don't want anyone else but you. No one compares to you. They don't want anyone but you. They have plenty of options, but I think that this person is humbling their ego and they're going to come back and apologize. They're cutting off all these people and they're going to come back and apologize. If we're dealing with a Virgo, the Star card, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. So, Cancer, this is a Virgo that is rushing towards you wanting to work things out. The problem is, is they're going to get your hopes up just to let you down because this person wants to present themselves as a king of pentacles when in reality, they're a knight of wands and a knight of swords, which is a very fat, it's like two uh, complete polar opposites. The knight of wands and the knight of swords is a fast moving in and out player energy here today, gone tomorrow, but they want to present themselves as everything that you want them to be, the solid state committed person. So if you take this person back, prepare to get your feelings hurt. If we're dealing with a Libra, the nine of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the tower, the seven of wands, the knight of pentacles, and the queen of swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, I don't think you want this person back. They're going to try to apologize. You're shutting the door. They can't believe it. They can't believe that you're really serious about leaving them behind. But I think that you're good with this. This is it. This is finally over between you and the Libra. It is really over and done with no matter what they say. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, the Magician, the Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Devil, the Lover's card, and the Fool card, Cancer. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there is an ex here that's realizing that someone is moving on. So if the Scorpio is your ex, they're sitting in a lot of jealousy and envy and rage that you're moving on, like stalker, obsession, crazy energy that you are moving on from them. Or Cancer, if you have met a new Scorpio, there's an ex here that is seeing that either your ex or their ex is seeing that you guys have moved on. Someone here is going crazy. There's an ex that's going insane seeing that someone has moved on, okay? If we're dealing with a Sagittarius, the Hierophant, the Six of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Cancer, this Sagittarius is about to give you everything that you've been asking for. If this is a Sag that has put you in competition, if this is a Sag that has made you fight, beg, and plead for commitment or for love, they're realizing that you are finally deserving of it. The worst is over. This is someone that is now going to give you your wish fulfillment, marriage, whatever it is that you want, they see a future with you. You have beat the competition. You, you've, you've won the prize, basically. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, the Seven of Swords, the Emperor, the King of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Moon card. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, this is somebody that's married. I'm telling you right now, this is a new Capricorn that you might be meeting. This is someone that's committed elsewhere. Leave it alone. Okay. They may appear honest that they're single, but they're not. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, the world card, the ace of wands, the two of cups, the six of wands, the nine of wands, and the death card. Cancer, this Aquarius, if you guys live at a distance, no, if they, I'm hearing that song, uh, I'll climb any mountain or cross any ocean or whatever the case may be. This Aquarius is head over heels in love with you. They will, they will leave anywhere that they are. They will get rid of anything they have to get rid of. But this is an Aquarius that at any cost wants to be with you. Okay. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Ten of Cups, the Chariot, Temperance, the Ten of Swords, the Judgment card, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, I'm seeing a reconciliation. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Pisces, this is someone that really wants your forgiveness. They want to talk. They know that they hurt you deeply. They know that you have no reason to forgive them, but they still want to reconcile this. They really want your forgiveness, okay? All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you so much, and I will see you soon. Take care, my darlings.